Greetings from the land of Lenape people, a place we now call New York City. My name is Koray Çalışkan. I'm an economic sociologist teaching at Parsons School of Design at the New School. Crypto economies now exceed $2 trillion. This is an economic universe larger than 96% of individual country GMPs in the world. We are witnessing a development that changes our economic futures with an unprecedented power and velocity. Yet, we do not know how or whether this crypto economy works. Here are four main findings of my research. First, I showed how cryptocurrencies are made by monetizing the right to send data privately on a public space built by blockchains. I propose we use data money to understand, regulate, and differentiate cryptos from other digital currencies. Previously, we monetized metals like this two euros and made metal money. Later, we monetized paper and made paper money, even put Adam Smith on it. We now witness the emergence of data money. Second, contrary to expectations, data monies are not replacing fiat currencies. They contribute to dollarization of trade. Third, I showed how seemingly decentralized financial universes are dominated by sociologically identifiable centers of power in terms of gender, geographical location, and education levels. Four, platforms are not mere two-sided markets. We cannot regulate them if we keep thinking that platforms like Amazon or a crypto exchange are a new kind of market. They are stacked economization processes. Their rich, modular nature looks something like that. Market relations are only taking place here. The rest, more of it, like minting and banking and and, and arbitration and, and um, barter relations take place in other parts of the platform. Such complexity requires a new logic of approach to understand platforms' stack nature so that we can regulate them effectively. Now we try to regulate things we fail to understand. It's time to embrace data monies, yet with a better scientific framework that allows for effective regulation in keeping people and the planet in mind. We need to fix our broken approach, better see the materialities associated with digital things and their complexity, and break the wall to making better sense of crypto economies and their platforms.